Welcome to Q&A, a segment where you ask and I answer. My name is Naeem Edwards. Thank you to everybody who showed up for the live stream on Sunday. Y'all are fantastic. Thank you to Gina for sharing her experience and what she went through over there on her side of the tracks of entertainment because I believe that this is where the lives come to die and we do need to know what goes on behind the scenes in areas that are in proximity to what we do. Thank you to the Working Man Podcast for your financial contribution. I greatly appreciate it. And thank you to Same Old Gossip Reheated Katrina Gibbs for hitting the cash app. I greatly appreciate it. You know I got my without Google. And y'all should have y'alls too. Now, question number one. How do I get started with my songwriting career? Now, this question has about three parts that are the main parts that we're talking about just getting into your songwriting career starting out you don't know what to do you don't know where to go there's three areas you need to understand understanding is one area equipment is the second area and resources is the third so we'll just start with understanding what you need to understand is that songwriting is a part of the music business in a way where you're not probably not going to get the shine you deserve you're probably not going to start off getting paid what you deserve you need to understand that there's different facets and different areas of songwriting because when you say you want to start your songwriting career, what kind of songwriting career do you want to do? A lot of what I do is work for companies, work for, you know, commercial works. It's not necessarily hog tied down to working with other artists. I do work with other artists, but I lean more into doing commercial type of work like writing commercials uh sync work those type of things is what i lean more towards so you need to understand where you want to go do you want to write for other artists do you want to be on a team which if you get into this you're going to understand that teamwork make the dream work you know not to sound corny or cliche about it but you you're able to get further if you know how to work with a team you got to have the understanding about how your attitude should be where you should be placed at when you're first starting out, those type of things, you know, just the, the mental, having that mental capacity to know that you're going to have to always be okay with being at the back of the line. I ain't trying to stomp on nobody's dream or put it out there like it's like, oh my God, we're the weakest ones in the room, but that's how people per will perceive you, even though you're doing the bulk of the work, even though you are the person that really breathes the life into a lot of these things. You're, you're gonna just have to have that mental capacity to understand that a lot of times you're gonna be at the back of the line when you first getting started. It's gonna be a lot of things you don't understand. It's gonna be a lot of things where you might not agree with, but to get to that next level or to get to any type of level or just even, I was gonna say how your ducks in a row, but forget having your ducks in a row to even get to the point where you have ducks, you're gonna have to be a student forever. You never stop learning. It never stops being, it's, it's a job and it's a very taxing job. You're going to have to have that understanding, which is going to be two questions per these episodes. And I'll lean more towards this in the second question that we have, but understanding also includes learning the business. You're going to have to learn what the rules are in the business that you are playing in CD. You can build yourself up to the point where you can make your own rules, but you're going to just need to have that understanding of your business. So understanding what your rights are going to be in the sector you are understanding what section you're going to want to put yourself in understanding that everybody might approach you from different ways and different angles. And sometimes people can have shady dealings. Other times it can be a decent deal. Other times it can be good. Sometimes you might not have the, um, you know, you might not know whether this is a good thing to do or bad thing to do. And that will be covered under resources, but just having that understanding about what it is you're trying to do, what section you're trying to get into, because you don't have to stay in one section, but a lot of people try to put themselves in these situations where it's, Oh, I just do everything, whatever. It's like, no, become good at this then you can start branching off into other things and i'll leave it there for understanding because i feel like you you know what understanding something actually means just know what you're getting into learn as much as you can forever be a student forever evolve the second thing is equipment 
the first thing you want to make sure you do is have the ability to record yourself. I know that a lot of people will tell you that people be scared to go to the studio. People don't want to go sit at the studio. People don't want to go do that. It's different when you are a songwriter. It's different when you are somebody that they can pick the phone up and call and you are able to give work or you going out of town and you have that ability to take the work with you because that's what you're going to find yourself doing a lot of the times when we get into resources. Having your own home studio or having your own equipment and having your own just having your own functioning apparatus where if you need to do something right now, if something has a deadline or you're able to travel and take the work with you, that's a very important thing because it's not like somebody's telling you every morning to get up and go here. You might actually get something in your email that has a deadline in a few hours. That's if you find yourself in one of those type of situations. We're talking about just starting out. So you want to be able to make sure you have your own recording software, your own microphone that fits your voice. That's a thing that people who, when you are a songwriter, a lot of the times, and I guess we can just mix resources into this because now we're falling into resources, but you, you know what a home studio is. So make sure you have the ability to record yourself. Make sure you have the ability to do over, do whatever you need and have whatever you need for the work that you're trying to do. Resources is going to be the biggest one. This is the one where people don't break down to you. And I don't really have time to break all of that down. You can get a personal consultation going to naeemedwards.com and booking one, picking a time slot, and we'll figure out when we can um, get together and talk one-on-one. -on -one. I, I do consultations all the time. I've done consultations about this in the past where I give you directly places you can go to launch your career on the, on the side of like actually getting out there with people but when it comes to resources people tend to just want to say hey how can i go write for a major artist first thing you want to do before you start branching out to other people is establish the catalog of what your styles are on your own that is what i would recommend when starting your career you might not want to be an artist per se like make yourself no huge whatever artist but it's always good to have a catalog where people can go reference what kind of music you make how you sound how you whatever what your writing styles may be and with that you can use your personal catalog if you don't if you don't want to be an artist but if you do want to be an artist you can use your personal catalogs of yourself to do the experimenting and branching out and doing all this stuff because you're the songwriter there is no rules and requisites when it comes to what you can do what you can show off that you can do what you can be a part of the second thing is if you don't want to do that say you write r&b music but you can't sing or you write raps and you don't or you write you have raps or whatever or a rock song or a country song that you don't want to cut yourself or you don't have the ability to cut yourself networking this way finding people around you using the people in your life to cut the demos for you. That is going to be one of the biggest things, especially if you got people around you who want to do music. So if you was an up and coming producer trying to get into the game and a producer is a songwriter in a different sense of the word, but you want to use the people around you. So you might give them this beat, give them that. If it's somebody who can sing, hit them up and say, I'm a songwriter. I want to write for you. That's how you get your catalog up as far as hey i did this for this person this is the kind of work that i've done this is what i can show this is what i can display it's going to take time because you know if you don't know a bunch of people who make music you're going to have to go find them but that's where it's going to come in with having your own stuff and having your own catalog that you can display so people can say hey i like what you've done for yourself I want to do something with you. I like your writing style. I want to do something with you because a lot of it comes from style and knowing how to take the people around you. And this is the biggest one for real. Taking the people around you and molding them into what they're supposed to be. Not necessarily throwing whatever style they have out the door, but knowing how to take their style and take your vo take their voice make it your voice and then give it back to them 
Like, take in molding their voice for them. That's going to be the easiest way to get into this. Because the more you do that, the more people will be able to see, you know, you know how to take and you know how to shape and you know, you know, treating people like mold, molding everybody like not mold, treating people like a mold, molding them like, you know, art or something like that. Resources. So obviously you're going to, like I said, all these things tie into each other because having an understanding and having your business in order, making sure you know about your publishing, making sure you know about what's deals that you want to be a part of or what the situation is when you going person to person or company to company or whatever it is like that. Cause you know, some people turn things down cause they don't want to be a part of them. Some people be a part of things that they wouldn't want to be a part of, but they know is I, sometimes I call those things throwaways where it's like, I'm going to do this and it's really throw away to me, but it's going to help springboard me to be able to do other things and do that. You know, I wouldn't go, as far as resources go, if you, it's crazy. Cause if you're signed as a songwriter, you, you not going to, uh, if you, if somebody's trying to sign you or it's a situation where you trying to get to a record label, you still going to have to be able to show and prove that you know how to do something. That's why most songwriters are artists themselves. You don't hear about them being artists themselves because they don't really be trying to step out there into the front like that as far as resources, but how to get to these people is obviously having your own word, being able to pitch to them and pit, or pitch to their label or pitch to somebody around them. But before you can even get down the road to talking to anybody that could get you in connection to any major artist or anybody that's signed or any type of outside of the norm situation, you still will have to build your catalog up you still will have to have something to prove that you can do that. And I know this sounds simple as hell, but like you already a songwriter once you start writing songs. You already a songwriter once you do it. It's just a matter of organizing and displaying. So organizing what you have and displaying what you can do and displaying what you're capable of. Use the people around you. Use the people around them. Start something where you are. And with the internet, you know, it's so much easier to be, get into these things because there's so many websites you can get on and display your work and people will come to you and then you get your foot in the door that way and then you can build it out however you want to. So that's how, that's what I would say. That's how you start your songwriting career. Understanding. So understanding what you're getting into, understanding where you want to go, understanding what you need to know when you get there. Proper equipment, i.e. a home studio. Cause you need to be able to cut your own demos, have people come cut the demos, have people, you know, be able to respond to people in a respectful time and be able to put down your ideas immediately and, you know, just do all the things. So you're not running back and forth, spending a bunch of money. And this is really on a budget, but like spending a bunch of money on that. Cause you're going to end up spending a lot more money when it comes to your resources, i.e. how much you're going to pour into your equipment, how much you're going to pour into your education, how much you're going to pour into the people around you. You might actually have to go to a studio. You might actually have to travel. You might actually have to go outside of the realm of freeness to get your songwriting career started. So that's what I would say. That is how you start and launch your songwriting career in today's age now the second question i got how can i balance my career and my relationship now i'm gonna have a video talking about the jeezy situation where i'm gonna go a little bit more in depth on a molecular level about that but what i will say to answer this question because this is a q a thing first thing you need to understand is every relationship is different. There is no blanketed advice for no relationships. A relationship guru, what they will call online in real life would probably be a licensed counselor. If we're talking about real help for your real relationship. So you need to understand that there is no blanketed way of how to deal with things. You are a different person than me, your partner, 
or whoever you go with or whoever you married to or in a relationship with, they are a different person than you are. And what relationships are, because this is not a relationship channel, but I will tell you, and I'm talking about real relationships that you want to have and you want to sustain. And my experience comes from being in a sustainable relationship and my parents were together for over 20 years before my father passed away. So I know about being in a relationship and what it would take to maintain your career and your relationship. The first thing is obviously y'all are two different people, but you don't want to give your person up. You don't want to give your dream up and people will tell you you can't have both. That's not true. Now, depending on everybody will not, everybody might not be able to have both, but a lot of times you can't have both if we're both on the same page of what your dream is. I'm just going to be for real. Like both of y'all have to be on the same page that this music and this part of my life comes before everything because this is what's going to take us to the promised land. A lot of people will not understand that. A lot of people do not want to hear that. A lot of people do not, cannot grasp the concept of me sacrificing time in this relationship for this thing that I have over here that that person probably does not understand. This problem, this person does not get, this person has no familiarity with, they think it's just, you know, you did the work and it's supposed to be over. You went to the studio, it's supposed to be over. You up all night receiving calls. And once the call is over, it's over. Like having a career in music is a 24 seven job all day, all night. There's going to be things where you might have to skip a birthday. It's going to be things where you're going to have to sacrifice date night. It's going to be things where you're going to have to not talk on the phone and not see each other. And you're going to have to get up at whatever the call is and go answer it. And I'm saying the call, like the call to action, you're going to have to get up and immediately go answer that. And that person is going to have to be okay with you being gone. You need to talk to your person before you get, before you get serious or become, or when you become serious, you need to sit down with them and you need to let them know that I am doing this for us. Now I'm not talking about no hoe. I'm not talking about some fling. I'm not talking about somebody that's not serious. We talking about somebody that you want to be with somebody that you take pride in being with somebody that they know you, they love you. You know them. Everything like that, right? Hold on. This thing? Okay. Everything is everything with this person. This is your one. This is the one. If they are not going to be 100% on board with what you have going on, you're going to spend a lot of your time explaining, a lot of your time in friction, a lot of your time in chaos, a lot of your time and a lot of these things that could have been avoided if you just talk, you know, talk to them. The other thing with can your relationship be balanced with your career? And I would say, you know, how well you say how you can, but like you have to include that person. You can't go be a rapper, go be a singer, go be a dancer, go be a model. You can't do you can't go off and do those things and not expect this person to be curious about what you got going on. You need to 100% involve them. I would say give them a job because they're going to want to be a part of whatever you got going on anyway, because relationships are constantly evolving. That's one thing that people do not tell you that the person you met on day one is not going to be the person that you know on day 100. They're not going to be the person you know on your thousandth day of knowing them. What is a thousand days? Two and a half years. So like three years. Three, six, nine, one, fifty, sixty, twenty, whatever. But you know what I'm saying? Like you this it's not going to be the same as it was when you met. We all have we're all rock ribbed about certain things about us, but we're always we're all always changing. We're all constantly evolving. So if the person you're in a relationship with is not included. 
they don't understand what you're doing and they're still having to live their life and have whatever they have going on while still trying to be in support because support is not just saying, Oh babe, I'm there for you. Um, whatever. If they support you, they're going to want to be involved. If they're going to want to be a part, I always say like, when you in this field, give the person you with a job. I don't give a damn if their job is because I don't let me say, I don't give a damn if their job is printing up the t-shirts, reading something, looking for news for you to talk about, making sure your mix is right, uploading, you know, just depending on how deep y'all is and it being part you, that is your partner for a reason. You not in this relationship to just, Oh, look at my trophy. Like, no, nah, like if you love this person and you really want that life with them and you really doing this shit, how you supposed to be doing it, you're going to be doing this shit to the degree where they ain't going to have no choice but to be a part of it because your operation is going so big and your operation is going so grand. If they have a skill, incorporate their skill and what you got, what you got going on. So if you are a photographer or whatever, you know, whatever you got going on, like if your girlfriend know how to do photography or your boyfriend know how to do photography or your they friend know how to do photography, incorporate them in what you got going on. Go get them a camera. Go, you know, let them take pictures of you. Let them practice their skills and practice their craft and practice everything they got going on on you. If they're good at writing stuff, let them be, let them, you know, draft up your stuff. If they good with websites, let them make you a website. Let them run your website. Let them, you have to incorporate your person because if you don't incorporate your person, they're just left on the outside looking in. And it's just, it's not going to be no balance if they're not incorporated with your stuff. It's, it's not going to be because if they're like, again, like I said, if they force to sit on the sideline, it's very lonely sitting over there by themselves. So that's what will cause people to wander people to not understand. A lot of this shit is easy as a conversation with your person. Because if they really, especially if you have a girlfriend, she's really going to want to be there and see your progression. That's another thing. You can't, I know this about to sound mean, but you can't, I know it, it's no career without no progression. So if you're not making no progress, go work at UPS or something. I know that's messed up or you need to find somebody who can help you progress because a person ain't just really too interested in sitting around and you in the same spot and they still evolving. The person also needs to be comfortable in their solitude and comfortable having their own life just because of sometimes there's going to be certain things that have to be postponed or will not happen because you will not be there. So making sure that again, all this stuff works together because they will have something to do on your behalf. They will have something which would include them. They will have something to do on their own behalf because they have their own life. They will have something to do when you are out doing work because this is work this is not no matter how they make it seem with oh my god look at her money bag yo and ari like no that's nice for the camera but in real life people are work we're just always at work always at work always at work 24 7 it's gonna be stuff where you're gonna whatever they got going on you put it to the side but also a very important thing because we really could sit here and talk about it all day. Again, this is not a relationship channel. But I'm answering because you asked. Because I know about this. Because it gets rough. It gets hard. It gets ridiculous sometimes. And especially if you got somebody as expressive as my girlfriend. Who there's been times where it's just like. When I, we have never been at risk of breaking up or nothing. But there's been times she's felt lonely. Because I've had to work. You... I don't know what I was about to say, but like, I don't forget because I'm just, I'm just thinking about just all so many things that could throw the balance off and so many things that even though they could throw the balance off, it's, just, it's all this stuff is as simple as conversations and knowing we are a team, knowing we are on the same page, knowing that we want the same things. But, oh, this is what I was going to say. You also need to pour into them and that pouring into them could be giving them the job on your team making them the first lady or the first man or whatever you want, the first gentleman, or just making them know and understand and reassure that you are the most important person in my life. 
I'm doing this for us. It's not a me thing. It's a we thing. And not just that. You need to make sure that you take time away from this work shit to lean into the relationship too. It's not like, I know now if you one of them people where you feel like it's going to be all about you. Yes. Do that. But you're not going to have a relationship. if It's going to be all about you. This is why I say, bring them into what you got going on. Make them a part of everything. A lot of motherfuckers don't want to do that because they, they got stuff to hide. They, and I'm again, I'm just talking about real relationships, serious relationships, sustained, long lasting relationships. A lot of people got stuff to hide. They scared for their girl to have their phone. They scared for their man to go through their phone. They scared for their man to be a part of it. They scared for their man to read their DMs. When you were supposed to walk through this hole like it was a job in the first place, you won't, so you wouldn't have to worry about none of that. That is something you need to have control over. You need to have self-control and you need to have discipline and you need to have sexual discipline. That don't have nothing to do. Like you's not gonna have no you not gonna have no balance without no discipline. Period. When I'm doing this, it, it don't matter that my girl have my phone so she can take pictures of me so I can have whatever. We might be out and I need her to film me. You need to be able to be comfortable with having this person know everything about what you got going on. The problem is people mistake a lot of these relationships for, oh, this is a hoe or this is, you know, you not, you want the relationship, but you don't want to be serious and do what a real relationship take. All the other stuff, anybody telling you that other stuff is propaganda because, I mean, we can sit here all day. I ain't going to do that, but like. That's, that's how you bring balance to your relationship, personal discipline, and 100%, 360, 720 degrees of discipline, including your person and what you have going on, and also still taking time to foster and nurture them and make sure they have what they need too. That's what you would do with your child. That's what you have to do with your career. That's what you need to do with your relationship as well. So, this has been Q&A. My name is Naeem Edwards. Make sure you submit your questions on Instagram or the comment section or going to NaeemEdwards.com. And there's like a little chat bubble up there and you can just type the question in there directly and I will, it comes directly to my phone. I will be able to see it. I'll